welcome back. So this house probably looks familiar to you. This was from a couple of videos back. It was my urban house. I had built it here on this newer lot and I had built it for a single professional lady who owns a business. And I explained during the video that in the back of the house, I was going to build her business as a part two. So you can go back and watch that. It's called the urban house, but this is just a quick overview of the house in case you missed it. I really love this house. I love the layout of the house itself, and it could also easily be adapted into a family home, either by adding a third story on or not using that as a mezzanine and using that as an extra bedroom. Or you could build a basement onto the home and you could build this home and the floor plan is included in the video on any lot of your choosing. So that's what her house looks like. Again, go back and watch the video if you want a detailed tour. She does have a nice patio out back. So she lives in the part of downtown where you have a lot of houses and businesses mixed together. So back here is her business and the business is an architectural firm. So she just has to walk right out her back door and come to work. And there's the sidewalk that is adjacent to the parking lot. I like this sign. I think it really matches what I'm going for here. I did put that floor lamp behind it like I put in front of the house to light it up at night. And this is the entrance here that the clients would come in. I've used the red and black doorway there. I think that would look good with any modern home build, really, along with those black windows or any business that you'd like to build. This is the lobby, so the customer would come in and there's the big staircase there. Here's a reception area and you can walk through the hallway and go behind to tend to the reception area. There is a customer here and he's not very happy. We'll, we'll go into that more in just a minute. Let's finish looking at the lobby first. Here's the sitting area slash waiting area with a fireplace and some nice artwork over top. And then you have the staircase there and some signs that tell you what's upstairs. So this is Kevin here. He is a client of Janet's who owns the business and the home that you saw before. And he believes that Janet has made a mistake with one of his floor plans. He is complaining now to the receptionist, as you can see, and will follow along with the story as we go through the firm. So you come into a hallway here with many doors. The first archway right here takes you behind the reception area where she can come to work and take care of everyone who comes into the building, direct them where they need to go, or just give them some literature or some business cards if they're interested in maybe having Janet work for them. Over here is the downstairs bathroom. It has kind of a fancy toilet there, a hand dryer, just, you know, a garbage can, toilet paper holder, and a sink. And then we'll come back out into the hallway and go down to the last door on the left and this is where Janet's assistant Karen works. So Karen takes all of the designs that Janet creates and she puts them out onto blueprints. So this is her job right here. And you can see the files next to her, all of the media there where they store everything. And I've put some trophies there on the wall for her. And there are two extra desks over here just in case they have to have extra people come in and help out on a large project. So that's really where most of the work gets done as far as after it leaves Janet's desk. And here's Janet at work. This is her office. I've made her a beautiful red and black and brown L-shaped office. I've used that new desk again. She has her own awards on the wall on the left, a beautiful bookcase here where she can keep a lot of literature. And then there's her trophies and her awards for all the things she's designed in the town and her certificates that she's earned from her education and some seating areas. So since Kevin has complained, the receptionist has come and let Janet know what's happening. So next, Janet goes into Karen's office and lets her know what's going on. And Karen sort of does some investigating and finds out that the mistake was actually made by the client. And he's being very, very rude to Janet, but Janet is the type of lady who just isn't having it. So let's continue on with the tour. That's the downstairs. And I wanted to let you know this building as well could easily be converted into a home. So when we look at the floor plan at the end, you'll see it can be a family home very easily. 
So let's go upstairs and let's take a look at what's up here. So you have that two-story entryway there with a loft and the clients would come up here and also the staff. There are some different rooms up here for different purposes, but that is a waiting area there on the second floor overlooking the entryway. And we'll come down the hallway here and just like downstairs over here on the right, we have a matching bathroom. It's just like the one downstairs. And then we'll come across and right here we have the staff kitchen area, the break room. So this is where the people who work here would come and get their lunch out of the fridge and warm it up. There's a sink there and a coffee machine. And there's a place there, I'm trying to give you a better angle right in front of the window because it is an L-shaped room there. That's a better look for some of the employees to sit and have their break or eat their lunch. And in here is a very important room. It serves many purposes. So this room is a conference room and it's also a room where she can bring clients up and make presentations to them. It's also a learning room for employees. It's a room to store information. And as you can see, there's a podium over here. You could put blueprints on the easel and there's also a TV over there. And this is the board where maybe you could draw some designs out or get some ideas from your customer of what they want. But in this case, this is where she's brought Mr. Kevin up here to really lay it out for him and let him know this is what he asked for, this is what she's done, and she does not appreciate the way he has talked to her employees or her. So she's really letting him have it up there. So that is the conference room slash classroom. And I thought it would be really neat to make a room like that, like I said, because you could also bring your customers up there and draw out their ideas on the board before you sit down and try to make their dreams a reality. So that is the second floor of the build. Again, really simple to turn this floor plan into a family home. So many possibilities. That little breakfast area could be a nursery. This would make a wonderful master suite here. And of course you wouldn't have to have the mezzanine and you could create any kind of space you'd like up there. But I wanted to close the story out by letting you know that he realized his error and he did realize that that is what he had told them to do and he is now apologizing to Janet and I'm sure he ends up apologizing to her employees as well. So we're going to take a look at where I put everything here. Remember the grid will be at the end but you saw the lobby and the reception area there and the hallway and then you move back here to her assistant's office and here's Janet's office here. And then we'll come upstairs and you'll see the lofted area here for the entrance, the upstairs hallway and bath, the employee break room. And then we have the conference area up here slash classroom. So very simple build. Again, you could add a third story, a basement, and it would be a wonderful little home sitting on any lot for a family. So this was a fun project. I really enjoyed building the house and I hope you go back and watch the video. It's one of my favorite little houses, really. I do love it. It's a keeper. And especially because I also built a business onto the back of it. I'm not sure that I've really done that before. I think I've built businesses into homes before, but this lot just really spelled urban home and business to me because it's right there on the corner where maybe downtown you would have those neighborhoods sort of on the outskirts and have homes and businesses sort of mixed together. So if you enjoyed the tour, let me know by leaving me that like or a comment. And remember, the grid comes up next if you're interested in recreating the build. And also, if you're interested in recreating the house in the front, the urban house, please check out again that video. The grid is at the end of that one for the house itself. And thank you so very much for watching. You guys take care, stay well, love you all, and I will see you in the next video.